There, there, is a, there is a question that's just coming from Jeffrey. What role does reciprocation play in trading concessions? The interesting thing about that, Jeffrey, is it's all about reciprocation. Yeah, the, the fact that the word trade is in there is, is what we're doing. We're looking to reciprocate um, or get reciprocation from, from the other party. So 100%, it's all about it. What you've got to... Ugh, this is something for... Oh, just pulled my, my headset out. This, and this is where I've got to be careful about not diving in and, and going off piece with this too much. And this is why let's get you guys on, on you know, um, some, some bigger sessions. The whole concept of fairness in a negotiation is something you've got to get out of your head. Um, once again, reacting to a deal, whether it's fair or not, even though you might think it's logical, it is a 100% emotional response. Okay. Um, give me a good example. Okay, let, let me just give kudos to Chris Voss again. In, in one of his courses, uh, he does a trade where he puts people into pairs. He gives one of those people $10 and they are the person that will make the offer. And it's simply an offer and an acceptance or denial of that offer. The other person then um, is, is, is to receive the offer. So they'll go into their pairs. So it might be myself and I can see Peggy there. So it might be myself and Peggy there. I have $10 and I offered Peggy. Uh, so basically what happens is I'll offer an amount. If she accepts it, we both get to keep the amounts. Okay. If she doesn't accept it, no one keeps anything. So what happens is people go in and they'll go, I'll, I'll offer you $5, right? Because guess what we do? We're human beings. We want to be nice. We want to be fair. So we go, okay, that seems fair. We'll take the split. But, but here's the thing in the negotiation, if you have the money, and by the way, you can't offer zero, but if you offer anything more than $1, you're not being rational, right? you're being emotional. You're reacting to that person's emotion. Now here's the thing, if I was to offer Peggy a dollar and she knows I'm walking away with nine, what is most likely her response gonna be? What? No chance. So we'll both walk away with nothing, but here's the thing, what, what, what's better, having a dollar or no dollars? But it's because we're reacting to the emotional response of fairness that we're walking away from that deal. So in, in, that, in that example and that, uh, and that activity, is if you walk away, if you offer anything more than a dollar, or if you accept, you know, if you don't accept the dollar, what you're 100% doing is reacting to that emotionally. So to answer your question, Jeffrey, it is about reciprocation, but also you have to take away the concept of fairness. What you've got to think about to yourself is, am I doing or am I offering a trade that I can trade and I'm going to get something more in return? Okay, that, that's really what it's about. So reciprocation is essentially in the eye of the beholder. If, uh, and I hope that makes sense because it's how that person perceives your reciprocated offer in terms of fairness.